Hey KR Squad, it's your girl Kelsey and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. So for today's video, it's going to be a how-to video and I'm going to be showing you guys some different ways that you can customize your... MacBook. So this video is inspired by Julia K. Christ. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I recently discovered her YouTube channel and she is honestly amazing. So I saw this video on her channel and I thought this was such a good idea. Wish I thought of it myself, but I didn't. But it was such a good idea because like a lot of the things that she's talked about in her videos I've actually been doing for a while. And also on top of that, I also know a few more tricks and tips that I can show you guys that she actually didn't mention in her video. I'll also leave Julia's videos down below if you want to check it out. She did a part one and a part two, so I will leave those down below. Okay guys, so with that being said, and before this video becomes super long, if you do want to learn some tips and tricks and some really cool features on your MacBook, on ways to customize it and make it even more your own, please continue watching. If you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and click that little bell button so you're notified every time I post a video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So for the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change the color for your highlight. So what I mean by this is, for example, if you're on Google and you want to copy and paste something, when you drag your cursor across that word, it usually highlights into like a certain color. So today I'm going to show you guys how to actually change that color and make it a color of your own. So I'm here on Google. So for example, if I type hi hi me <laughs> okay when I highlight that do you see how it is pink and it's not whatever color it normally is so I'm gonna show you how to achieve this pink color or whatever color you want to choose so the first thing you're going to do is go into system preferences so I'm gonna start by going there and, and then you're gonna go to general so once you click on general You'll see that on that page there is something that says highlight color. So that is what you're actually going to be using to change your highlight color. So if you click on that, you'll see there's a ton of different options. So there's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and other. So other is what you can actually use to customize whatever color you want if it's not in that list that we just listed. So if you want it to be like a more subtly pink or a dark, dark blue or a really hot pink, I'll show you what that looks like. So for example, if you change it to like this lime green, so if I go back to my Google and I just highlight hi me again, you'll see, boom, it's like that lime green color, which is super cool. So I love that because you can literally customize it to whatever color you want and it will switch it to that color and you can play around all the time you can switch it up all the time if you're bored of the certain color that you have at the moment switch it up if you get bored of that in a couple months switch it up again and it's just such an awesome feature that's so easy to achieve so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to create pop-ups on your desktop or how to create little posters clip art whatever you want to call it on your actual home screen so Julia actually showed you how to do this in her video but I'm just gonna show my Kara squad family how to do it over here on my video so if you look in the left hand corner of my screen here you'll see that I have these three little photos so the first one has like a June calendar which was actually one of her ideas which I thought was pretty cool the next one is just a LA photo that I have and then the last one is one of my recent Instagram photos that I have so basically how you can achieve this it's very very simple so you would have to go onto Google so we're gonna go back onto Safari and then you find a photo that you love so if you want a photo of Paris you choose whatever photo you like I'll do this black and white photo of the Eiffel Tower because it's quite pretty so then you're just going to save this to your computer okay so once you have it on your desktop the next thing you need to do is open your stickies so I already have my stickies open obviously because I have them on my home screen already but in order to open a new one all you have to do is click on it and then go to fly fly <laughs> and then go to file and then open a new note so 
One thing that's also pretty cool about stickies is that you can change the color. So there's a ton of different colors you can choose from. I just like the gray aesthetic with my photo in it. So I'm just gonna change it to gray. So for the next step here, Sometimes you're able to drag your photo into the stickies and then it works, but then sometimes you are not able to drag it and you have to crop it. So let's see if it works. So if I drag it, oh, it actually worked this time. So what you're gonna have to do now is just adjust the sides and just pull it in. And then bam, you have your Eiffel Tower photo. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly show you what to do if it doesn't work that easily because 90% of the time it does not go that easy. So what you're gonna do, let me show you what it looks like. So when you drag it onto your photo, it normally just takes up the whole thing and you can't even see your photo properly. So we're just gonna delete that. Now you're just going to open up your photo and then you're going to make it smaller. So then after you do that, you're gonna do Command Shift and hit four. Once you do that, the little screenshot thing pops up and you're just going to drag it along your photo and then screenshot it. So once you screenshot it, it pops up on your computer desktop and then you just drag it in and there you go. Your photo is in your sticky note. And then also with this, if you just wanna delete it, all you have to do is click the little square on the side over here, click on that. And then it says, do you wanna save this note? Say don't save and then it just deletes it off your screen. So the next feature on my laptop, which I think is absolutely amazing and everyone should honestly use it. <laughs> I just personally love it and I find it so useful, especially if you're still in school, it's called dictation. So basically what dictation is, is that you can enable it on your laptop so that anywhere that you have to type something, you're able to say it into your computer versus typing it. So it's kind of a lazy version of doing things, but honestly, I love it. So you would go back into system preferences and then you would go to your keyboard and then there's dictation. You can turn it on or turn it off, but we want to keep it on so that if I do need to use it, I can use it. And by turning it on, you're enabling yourself to use it. So if we go back on to Google, so for example, if I want to search pictures of the Eiffel Tower, I would go to edit and then start dictation pictures of the Eiffel Tower and search boom there it is it popped up and then I have pictures of the Eiffel Tower so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to create an awesome aesthetic on your home screen so for example if you've noticed on my screen you see that it keeps rotating I actually created that myself it's super super simple to make and it looks kind of complicated but it's really not because <laughs> your girl's not that artsy she really isn't. The first thing you need to do is open up the app Canva, which is my holy grail app. I use this app so, 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 so much. First thing you need to do once you open up the app Canva, you're going to have to create a custom dimension. So there's a bunch of options that they give you for like posters, Instagram, thumbnails, all that stuff. You don't wanna use any of those because they're not gonna fit the dimensions of your screen. So you want to go onto Google and find out your screen dimensions. I have a MacBook 13 inch, so these dimensions might also work for you. So for my 13 inch MacBook, my screen dimensions are 1280 by 800. So I'm just gonna type in 1280 by 800 and then create design. The first thing I'm going to do is just change the background color. The next thing you want to do is go into elements. And what's amazing about this app is that, or this website, is that there's a ton of elements. You can literally type in whatever element you want and then go with that. So I type in a rose. And then there's a ton of different ones that are free. The ones that are free usually says free on it and the ones that you have to pay for usually says pro. So there is my photo. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Maybe I'll put it a little bit on an angle. Yeah, that looks, that looks cute. Then the next thing I do is just going to text. And the text that I'm currently obsessed with is a text called Jonathan. It is in like a cursive writing, which I think is absolutely beautiful. So with this part, you can A, find a quote that you like online that's nice and short that you can just add it. For me, I just kind of think of something in my head and then go with it. So kind of like how that looks. So now I'm just going to save that. So on my home screen, if you can see in this little envelope over here, I actually have a specific file called background photos. And that's the file that I would add this photo into so that it can add into the rotation. So here is the step that you have to take to create that rotating background. So you would go on to system preferences again, 
and then you would go to your desktop and screensavers. So on your desktops and screensavers, there's a ton of different ones that you can choose from. So if you have like a bunch of different ones saved, you can choose from that. But if you create a folder on your computer specifically for your backgrounds, you would just go to add folder and then you would choose whatever that folder is and then you can add it into this rotation. So for me, I have this as my backgrounds folder. So I just click on that and then I wanted to change pictures and then I wanted to rotate every minute. You can choose every five seconds, however long you want it to rotate, but I want mine to rotate every minute. So then once that is that, you're going to have your rotating background and you'll see as this video progress that that pink photo that we just created is going to be added into this mix. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how to darken or lighten your menu bar. So this is honestly super easy and it will literally take like two seconds. So you're going to go into your system preferences again and then you are going to go to general. On this page right here you'll see that there's the option to use a dark menu bar and a dock. So you click on it and if you can see it turns this part really dark. Let me unclick it again. If not it turns it light again. So that's the easiest way to change your menu bar to either dark or light. Another cool thing right here on this page that you can do also is hide this little part up top. So in order to do that, you would just click on automatically hide and show the menu bar. So click on that. If you see the menu bar goes away and that's what your screen looks like. But if you run your cursor over the top, it'll pop up again and then it'll disappear once you no longer need it. If you don't want that option, you just want it there all the time, you just click on that and then boom, it is there. All right guys, so that is it for some of the ways on how I customize my MacBook. I really hope this video was helpful and thanks to Julia for creating this because it was honestly such an awesome idea. If you guys did like the techniques that I use and did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below and click that little bell button so you're notified every time I post a video. All the links to my social medias are listed down below so definitely, 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 definitely check me out on there. I love you guys so, so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!